Okay, so we are back for grade three, module two, lesson four, part three. I can solve word problems involving time intervals within one hour by counting backward and forward using the number line and the clock. So let's get started. Okay, so last time we worked on these, we were um, drawing number lines and we're gonna continue with that. And we were either getting an end time when something ended and then we needed to find out what time they had started by moving backwards on the number line. We also practiced a little bit of moving forward on the number line where they gave us a start time and how long something took. And we also practiced finding elapsed time. So when something started and then when something ends and how much time passed in between. So we're going to continue on with that, but we have to make some decisions when we read these, these um, problems. Are they going forward? Are they going backwards? Uh, do we need one hour on our timeline or maybe we need more than one hour? It depends on if it's over 60 minutes of time, right? So let's take a look at this next one. It says, David starts riding his bike at 3.12 p.m. He rides for 36 minutes. What time does he stop riding his bike? So for this one, I, I think, okay, I can do a one hour timeline. I can start it at three because um, I can, you know, 36 minutes plus this 12 minutes, that'd be 46 or some 48 minutes, right? So that would, that would work. I think I could make a timeline that starts at three. So let's get started. And we just kind of want to remember that time is, um, is going on. We're just looking at one piece of time. So I put the arrows on the end because of that. And we start here and I'm going to make that three o'clock PM. Okay, and then down at the end, I could end it at four o'clock, I think, because it's not more than 60 minutes. We're looking at, you know, less than 50 minutes here. So I'm going to draw my tick marks every five minutes. So this will be three, 305, 310, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then now this is 60 minutes, which will be, what comes after three o'clock? Four o'clock. So I'm gonna make this four o'clock. If you are drawing your number line with me, you can pause this video here and you can make sure you have it set up. I always double check to make sure that I have, um, you know, the correct amount of tick marks between here because this is a time where I will, I don't want to mess this part up. It'll, it'll affect my elapsed time counting. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60. So that's correct. 60 minutes between three and four. Okay. So let's go back to the problem. It says David starts riding his bike at 3, 12 p.m. and he rides for 36 minutes. They want to know the end time. So we're moving forward on the number line. So let me get my stamper. I'll put a star at 312. Oops, I should put, I'm probably gonna make some tick marks in between, right? Because these are five minute intervals. So we have three, 305, 310. So 312 is between 310 and 315. So I'm gonna make my um, four marks inside of here. One, two, three. Four. And remember, we're counting in between these intervals. So we only need four in between, but this is really five minutes worth of time. Because from this line to this line, that's one and two, three, four, and five minutes. So there's four little hashtags inside. We always count that last one. All right, so David starts riding his bike at 312. I can put my stamp at 312, 305, 310, 11, and 12. So I'm gonna put the tip of my star right here. Oops, I kind of covered it up, but that's okay. Um, he rides for 36 minutes. What time does he stop riding? Well, I'm going to grab my tool. And so I have three minutes here, right? One, two, this is going to be three minutes. We're moving forward because we want to find an end time. So he goes for 36 minutes. Let's see. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, here would be 30 minutes. So from here all the way down to here, this would be 30 minutes. 
And I also have three minutes here. So I actually have 33 minutes now so far. So I need 36. <clears throat> so 33, 34, 35, 36. I need three more minutes on the end. I'm just going to draw all the, the tick marks or the um, hash marks here. So there's going to be four, remember? One, two, three, four. Okay. So now <clears throat> we have 33, 34, 35, 36. Right here on this spot right here. Where I'm going to put that this um, tag mark here is where I want to find the time for that. Let me put another stamp there. I'll just put the tip of the star right there. Okay. So I have one, two, three minutes between here and here. So three minutes. That would give me 30, 33, 36 minutes. I know I have my times correctly um, on my timeline. Now, we need to figure out the time because the question's asking us what time does he stop writing? So that's gonna be a, an actual time. It's not gonna be elapsed time, which would be how many minutes. And it's not going to be someone's name or like who finished first. It's going to be, um, it's going to be an actual time. Okay, so now we need to find his stop time. We have 3, 305, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48. So he stops writing at 3, 48. And that is how you find that on a number line. Another easier way to do that might be to say, well, since we're moving forward and he started at 312, and this is within the hour, I can actually add those 12 minutes onto this 36 minutes. So 12 plus 36, and six plus two is eight. Three plus one is four, so 348, right? 348. That's an easier way if it's within the same hour. It starts to get tricky when there's more than one hour. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. It says Valerie started exercising at 7.12 a.m. She finished at 7.53 a.m. And how many minutes did she exercise? This is an elapsed time uh, problem. So what they want to know here is how many minutes have passed from when someone when she started exercising to when she ended. So you could do counting on. There are lots of ways to do it, but the way I'm going to show you is using the timeline. So 712 and 753 are the two times we're going to plot on the timeline. And then we will count how many minutes between. That's elapsed time. So let's start by making our timeline. If you're making yours at home, you can pause you know, as you need to. So the first tick mark will be seven o'clock. And then we're gonna go five minutes until we get uh, 60 minutes on there, which will be then eight o'clock. So here's uh, seven. And we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then the 60 minute mark down here will be eight o'clock. So I'm gonna add that in there. So this one is eight o'clock. So this timeline goes from seven o'clock a.m., which will be in the morning, to eight o'clock a.m., which is also in the morning. All right, so she started exercising at 7.12 a.m. So we need to find uh, 7.12, it's between 7.10 and 15, right? So here's 7.05, 7.10, this would be 7.15 here. It's going to be in between here. I'm going to put my four marks on the inside of here because remember we're counting intervals of time between these marks. One, two, three, four. And we always count this as our fifth one. This is actually five minutes, but we only need four small marks on the inside because this is one minute, two, three, four, and then five. So 7.05, 7.10, and then 7.12 would be 11.12. Let me get a little stamper. And that would be right there, right where the point is for that. So we have 7.05, 10, 11, and 12 would be right there. 
That's where she started. And she finished at 753. So 53 is between 50 and 55. So that's where I want to look for on my, on my line. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, and that's where I would put the star right here. But I also know there are more lines in there. So 50 and then 54, and that would be 55 right there. Okay, so now we need to figure out how much time has passed, what they call that elapsed time. So um, let's figure out these ones that are really easy in the middle first, and then we'll you know, add the end ones here and the end ones there. So let's do the, uh, the skip counting by five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So this is 35 minutes total here. We need to add these little minutes here, which are one, two, three. So we need to add these three minutes on the end here. And then down at this end, we have one, two, three, an extra three minutes here. So then I just have to add 35 plus three, plus three more, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. So it looks like the amount of time that has passed has been 41 minutes. And that would be my answer. Okay, so another way to figure this out would be to, um, to count on kind of, but by, by using time. So you could start with 712 and then stop at 753. So I would go 12, 712. Um, if I had 10, it's um, 22, 32, 42, 52, that's, that's 40 minutes. 52 plus one more would be 53. So that's 41 minutes. And I can kind of count that in my head. That's just another way to um, find elapsed time. Okay, so let's take a look at the next one. It says, Austin works on his art project for 37 minutes. Uh, he finishes working at 1.48. So what time does he start? They want to know the start time, so we're going to have to go backwards on the timeline. So we want to start with uh, 1 o'clock and end at 2 o'clock if we draw the timeline. So let's do that. Let's draw our timeline. We're going to start at 1 o'clock down here. I'm going to have to put my mark on here. Let me put my end mark. That's 1 o'clock. And we're going to stop. Whoops, that's kind of crooked, huh? Um, let's stop at 2 o'clock. Okay, so we want our tick marks to be five minute intervals. So this would be 105, 110, 115, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then this is 60. It's kind of far, right? But that's okay. I don't wanna add any extra there because I don't wanna add um, more, uh, more time on XM. So I can double check. I should have 60 minutes in an hour, so I'm counting these intervals, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Got it. So he finishes at 148. Let's plot that time on here. Um, so 5, 10, 15, right, 20, 25, like 30, 35, so 36, five, 37. Could you line up in the classroom, please? Bus five. Okay, so I have marked my um, spot where I need, and we want to um, mark 148. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, oops, 37, 38, 39, 40. Uh oh, I have to go more, don't I? I'm going to have to go 40, 45, probably in between here. Let me come back and fix that up. Okay, so here I go. I found my, the correct spot. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48 would be right Patrick, hey, here. Come down and line up in the hallway. Okay, so now we have our time plotted and he worked on his project for 37 minutes and so we want to know what time he started. So let's go back 37 minutes from 148 to this 
um, hashtag here is three minutes. So we're going to go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, if you go here, that would be 35, right? But then we have 36, 37, 38. We, have, we went one minute too long, so we have to go back one minute. And this right here would be the spot that we would want to find the time for. So let me stamp that. We'll be right there, right here. So that's not too bad. I think we can now count. We have 1, 105, 110, 111. So it looks like he started at 111. Okay, so it looks like Austin started working on his project at 111 p.m. That would be in the afternoon. So it looks like that's it. We'll see you soon.